Welcome back to episode four of our weekly Q&A. This is Alex, I'm Michael. The Sirova Inwood Gang has an amazing topic for you this week. The topic and the question is, should you buy first or should you sell? Well, there is no right or wrong answer and it all depends on your situation. So let's get into it. All right, so here are some positives about buying before you sell. First of all, you're not as rushed because you're on your own timeline. You can be a little bit more picky. You can see as many places as you'd like until you find something that you truly love. The other reason is that you may avoid multiple moves. Because you're on your own timeline, you buy something and you set a scheduled date to actually move into the property without being in a rush. However, here are a few things to consider with this option. First of all, what if you sell your current house that you own for 10 to 15% less than expected? Are you gonna be able to afford the house that you just purchased? Or even worse, what if you don't sell that house at all? Are you gonna be able to close in time? Lastly, you're gonna be rushed into selling your home right away. You have to prep it, stage it in a very short period of time. Now, if you're thinking about selling before you buy, here's some positives. First of all, if you have an actual sale price on your home, you can determine your budget and your buying power. You know exactly how much money you have to work with. Secondly, you can determine the timeline for when you want to sell and what kind of market you want to sell in. Whether it's the summer, the fall, or the spring, like right now, very low inventory, the market is crazy hot. Third of all, you get to dictate your closing. So again, you set your own timeline. Now, here's a few things to consider with this option. Number one, if you're running out of time, maybe you're picky, do you have somewhere else to live? Are you gonna rent? Or are you gonna call mom and dad and ask them, can I stay over for a couple of months? Number two, you might be rushed into putting an offer on a house you don't really love. Number three, you might overpay for a house that you don't love. Lastly, you might run into a problem of a double move. Now, from my experience, clients who tend to buy first usually have more disposable income as well as a lot of job security. The other segment that tends to buy first are the empty nesters and people who are downsizing. So if you have a four bedroom, three bathroom home around here and want to downsize into something smaller, you can pull out enough equity out of your house where you're not going to have an issue closing on your new purchase. Our clients who usually sell first don't like to take risks. They want to know how much they make from their current house to predict the future budget. Usually our clients that are upsizing are choosing this option as well as they need to hit a certain number when they sell their house. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you found that video informative. If you have any questions, comments, or any topics you think we should touch on, comment them below. Make sure to subscribe, give us a follow, and have a great day. And we're back. If you're thinking of buying or selling, we offer free buyer consultations and free home evaluations. Give us a call anytime, and don't forget to visit our website, cedarovainwood.com. Thank you.